Coming up next on the Holistic Wealth Podcast. With the crises that we're facing globally, it's easy to become hopeless. It's easy to turn on the television and see everything happening and think, where are we heading? Where is humanity heading? Is this the end of it? But renewing that hope and motivation every single day is so important. And there will be roadblocks. And this is why we need to renew our hope and motivation every single day in order to deal with these mini fires that need to be put out around us. And because it's Global Holistic Wealth Day, we celebrate by posting on social media, by doing... You're listening to the Holistic Wealth Podcast with host Keisha Blair, author of Holistic Wealth and founder of the Institute on Holistic Wealth. And now, here's your host, Keisha Blair. Happy Global Holistic Wealth Day to everyone around the world today. Today on April 9th, as we do every single year, we celebrate Global Holistic Wealth Day, and it's also Easter Sunday. It's also the Easter weekend, the holiest weekend in the Christian calendar. And I just want to wish you all a happy Easter as well, a blessed Easter as well, and wishing you a lovely time of peace and joy and celebration and spiritual renewal and everything good with your family and friends. And of course, I just wanted to state that this episode and all episodes of the Holistic Wealth Podcast are sponsored by the Institute on Holistic Wealth. And I want to ask you to visit the website, check out the resources on the Holistic Wealth website. The website is www.instituteonholisticwealth.com and there are a range of resources. There's also more information on how you can participate in Global Holistic Wealth Day, which is today. And because it's Global Holistic Wealth Day, we celebrate by posting on social media, by doing a range of activities that enrich us holistically. And there are several ways that we can celebrate, and I will get into that into this podcast episode. But if you do go on social media, I'm hoping everybody does today, to spread the word about why this is so important, please use the hashtag Global Holistic Wealth Day. So it's hashtag Global Holistic Wealth Day. So for those of you who may not know, I created Global Holistic Wealth Day. And last year, for the launch of the new Holistic Wealth Expanded and Updated book, we celebrated it for the very first time. It was the inaugural Global Holistic Wealth Day last year. And we did a range of things to celebrate. We had our Holistic Wealth Trailblazers celebrate with us on social media as well. And we had a great first time, first year for Global Holistic Wealth Day. And this is the second year that we're celebrating. And really, Global Holistic Wealth Day is a day dedicated to celebrating wealth in all aspects of our lives. So not just financial wealth but wealth in terms of our health and our well-being or mental health or relationships, right? And our financial wealth or physical, mental, emotional health. So this day encourages individuals to take a step back and assess their overall well-being, whether it's a physical, mental, emotional health, your relationships, careers, your financial well-being. We believe that holistic wealth is essential for a fulfilling life. And I'm so excited to share more with you today in terms of tips and insights on how you can achieve holistic wealth, because it's so, so, so important. My mission with holistic wealth started back in 2017. I wrote that viral article that led to this journey that was published in November, December 2017 and went viral in early 2018. And it's really led to this journey for me. So I've been doing this work from 2017. A lot of the work had been behind the scenes until the book came out, right? Because it took a while for it to be pulled together and for the book to come out. And I really coined the term holistic wealth with the publication of the first edition of Holistic Wealth back in November 2019, when that came out. And then we updated and expanded on that and released a new expanded and updated version in March 2022. So we have that and the Holistic Wealth Workbook was also published to help people 
be able to do the work in terms of a workbook journaling format. And of course, the establishment of the Institute on Holistic Wealth, as well as this podcast, because so many readers came forward asking for an expansion of this global movement. And I'm glad that it has gone this far and we've gotten this far. So let's talk about the different facets of holistic wealth and why Global Holistic Wealth Day is so crucial. It's unbelievable what we are facing globally in terms of the challenges we all face. And we need to start with our mental and emotional health first, because it's unbelievable how much of a crisis the world is facing with mental health. And it's a global problem. No country is immune. No one is fully Im immune. According to the World Health Organization, around 450 million people currently struggle with mental illness, making it the leading cause of disability worldwide. In Canada, it affects more than 6.7 million of us. In fact, one in two Canadians have or have had a mental illness by the time they reach 40 years of age. These alarming statistics are published online by the Canadian Mental Health Organization and the cost to society of this is immense. Mental illness is a leading cause of disability in Canada, preventing nearly 500,000 employed Canadians from attending work each week. To make matters worse, the cost of disability leave as a result of mental illness is about double the cost of leave due to physical illness. All in all, the economic burden of mental illness in Canada is an estimated $51 billion per year, including health care costs, lost productivity, and reductions in health-related quality of life. And as you can imagine, the human cost is even greater, right? Because in some way, mental illness has ripple effects in terms of our emotional well-being in terms of our physical health and in terms of our financial well-being so the interrelationships between mental health physical health spiritual health is undeniable and when we think about other interrelated crises like the opioid crisis the fact that the world health organization estimates that one person dies by suicide every 40 seconds in the United States, it's the same thing. There was a recent survey just out published on CNN that 90% of adults in the United States think that there's a mental health crisis. So this was a CNN poll and it was just published and 90% of adults say the United States is facing a mental health crisis. It's unbelievable what's going on in the world. And so from a mental health perspective, there's a huge crisis. And I've just kind of given you a lay of the land of kind of what's going on in the United States and in Canada. And it's unbelievable that this is trickling down to teens and our children. When we think about ongoing public health threats, including racism and gun violence, and also the fact that the COVID-19 pandemic exacerbated numerous social stressors. Right. It increased the risk of both substance abuse and mental illness. Drug overdose deaths reached a record in 2021 and 2022. And it's unbelievable that more than one in five adults in the United States describe their own mental health as only fair or poor. And that includes a large amount of adults under the age of 30. Right. So it's a huge problem. Now, mental health is one critical aspect of holistic wealth. And see, I'm giving you a lay of the land to sort of inspire action amongst all of us. My mission is to leave this world a better place than I did through my own platform, through this holistic wealth movement that I founded. And it's unbelievable what we're facing as a global community, what we're facing. And so that's the mental health aspect of it so on global holistic wealth day this is why we recognize this day this is why we want to inspire action across all of our communities to save our communities to save our children to save the next generation when we talk about our physical health now i know that everyone listening in 
if you look at your own families and extended families and friendships, it's unbelievable. I know with my own family, it's unbelievable how many people are sick, how many people are getting devastating health news in terms of their own physical health. And women in general, both women and men, are facing a lot of physical health issues. And of course, everything is interrelated, right? And that's why holistic wealth is so important. And from a physical health standpoint, I've heard many women coming to me telling me, you know, we want more on your podcast in terms of the health because we're suffering from hormonal issues, reproductive issues. Women are coming forward to talk about health like never before. Women who are pre-menopausal. I mean, we had Oprah Winfrey coming out talking about menopause. So we're shedding light on a lot of these health issues, which is amazing. And so when we talk about the financial aspect, because I just want to go through the aspects of holistic wealth as we celebrate global holistic wealth this year and why it's so important that every single year we continue to celebrate Global Holistic Wealth Day because it's so important. When we talk about financial health, I know that you know, everyone listening in, how harsh this economic climate is. Inflation is still rearing its ugly head. The prices out there in the supermarkets, I mean, as a parent of three, and I know all the parents listening in are thinking, wow, it's hit us hard. Inflation is still hitting hard. Credit card debt is at a record high. It climbed nearly 19% in the fourth quarter of 2022. Many Americans have exhausted their savings and are now deep in the hole trying to cover the cost of living. And I'm reading these statistics. I'm telling you these statistics from NPR. That's where I got these statistics from. So I'm not just, you know, saying it off the top of my head. It's unbelievable that credit card debt is rising at a record pace. And this is after it dipped in 2021. So the financial situation of North Americans in general and many people, many countries around the world has done a 180 degrees in just the last couple of years alone. And so we're looking at not only a mental health crisis, but a financial health crisis. There are many people that are facing that financial health crisis right now with skyrocketing prices that have not been coming down. And I mean, I know that the rates of inflation have kind of dipped somewhat, but it's not trickling down to consumers in the way we would like it to. I think, you know, I've made the case in general through my platform as an economist that we need a more equitable society, that we need a more equitable economy that benefits the vast majority of people and not just a few. And as an economist, I see that every single day. I know that so many people listening into this podcast are stretched financially, emotionally, mentally, spiritually. It feels like you are stretched beyond limit. And I just want to give you hope through this podcast episode today as we celebrate Global Holistic Wealth Day. I think many of you know my own personal story and why this is so meaningful for me. And this is why this is my whole entire mission. My husband started dying at work. He was at work. And I spoke about that in the new and expanded holistic wealth book that I'm all hoping that you get a copy of. If you don't have one, get one today to help celebrate Global Holistic Wealth Day. And he was at work the day he died. A tumor had burst and it started slowly trickling out. But he had a line of colleagues at his door waiting for him to check their work. And he sat and he dutifully went through everything. Mark you, he didn't know what was happening. He might have felt, as I said in the book, he might have felt a tightening, but didn't know. And so part of my mission is to educate and inform and to really inspire everyone to take their health very seriously. Because you know what? We're making life and death decisions when we're stressed, when we're busy, when we're feeling frustrated. And sometimes we don't know what to do. So we're not making these life and death decisions from an optimal standpoint. And this is why Global Holistic Wealth Day is so important for all the reasons I outlined before. And so that we can set aside a day to reflect, to renew ourselves, to embrace each other, to reflect on what we're doing, 
to push humanity forward because it's more than just getting the highest paycheck. It's not about getting the highest paycheck or the highest salary or the highest this or the highest that or, you know, grabbing for ourselves. It's about how we impact each other's lives. So this is why Global Holistic Wealth Day is so important every year on April 9th. This is what we celebrate. And so I just wanted to give you some tips on what you can do today to celebrate Global Holistic Wealth Day because it's such an important day and we want to celebrate that day with those around us and really want to set aside that day to do what we want to do. And so when we talk about relationships, we all need healthy connections with others to thrive. So building and maintaining strong relationships with family and friends and colleagues is crucial. We need time to invest and we need to invest in those relationships to keep them strong. And so I spoke about coping with stress and really emphasizing our overall well-being. And so that's also so important, you know, in terms of a healthy lifestyle, eating a balanced diet, exercising regularly, getting enough sleep. Our bodies are the foundation of our well-being and taking care of them is crucial. So let's talk about how we can celebrate Global Holistic Wealth Day. So here are some activities that people can do to celebrate Global Holistic Wealth today. And these are activities that you can do throughout the year and back again. And then we can talk about how we celebrated Global Holistic Wealth Day. So here are some activities. Number one, take a mindful walk or practice yoga. Exercise is not only essential for our physical health, but also for our mental well-being. So taking a mindful walk in nature or practicing yoga can help us reduce stress and improve our mood. Practicing gratitude. So take some time to reflect on the things you're grateful for in life. Gratitude is a powerful tool that can help us shift our focus to the positive aspects of our lives. And so when we practice gratitude, I know many people have a gratitude journal. If you have the Holistic Wealth Workbook, you can also write down some ways every day in which you're grateful, whether it's for your family, for friends, for the stability you have, for the job or the career that you have. Practicing gratitude is an essential part of improving mental health. Number three, have a healthy meal with loved ones. Eating a healthy meal with family and friends is a great way to nourish our bodies, build and strengthen those relationships. It's also an opportunity to practice mindful eating. So while you're practicing mindful eating, just savoring every bite, and of course, mindfulness is also a critical tool in that holistic wealth toolbox. Number four, volunteer or donate to a cause that you care about. So giving back to the community is a great way to promote and to practice holistic wealth. Volunteering or donating to a cause you care about can give you a sense of purpose and fulfillment. And of course, there's an entire chapter in the holistic wealth book on paying it forward. There's also a chapter in the Holistic Wealth book on recipes from scratch. And all of these activities and more, there's so much more that you can get from the book in terms of ways that you can live a holistically wealthy lifestyle, ways you can celebrate Global Holistic Wealth Day, and how you can live a more purposeful and meaningful life, and how you can feel more whole So number five, practice self-care. So take some time to pamper yourself and practice self-care. This can include taking a relaxing bath, getting a massage, or reading a good book. So on Global Holistic Wealth Day, emphasize self-care. And I'm just going to repeat the steps that I mentioned, some options for you, taking a relaxing bath, getting a massage, or reading a good book on Global Holistic Wealth Day. A great book to pick up is the Holistic Wealth book and you can go through it and just refresh and renew. You know, I know lots of us have made notes in the margins of that book. So go back to those notes, figure out what you put there and really go back to that and be like, yeah, what was I thinking when I read this? How can I enact this? How can I implement this in my own life? Number six, reflect on your financial goals. Take some time to reflect on your financial goals and create a budget if you haven't yet. A budget will help you to achieve your financial goals. Look at your debt 
The Holistic Wealth Personal Workbook has a great budgeting spreadsheet. It also has several spreadsheets to also help you as well as case studies because financial stability is a crucial aspect of holistic wealth and taking care of your finances can reduce stress and improve your overall well-being and if you haven't taken the personal financial identity quiz yet if you're listening in for the very first time go to the institute on holistic wealth website and take the free personal financial identity quiz. Today's Global Holistic Wealth Day. It's a great day to do that as well as every other day. And figure out your personal financial identity. That's also a crucial step in practicing and in improving your financial well-being. There's so many things that we can do on Global Holistic Wealth Day. It's an amazing day to set aside to look at all of these things how they interact, how they affect us, and really think about our holistic wealth and think about our lives and how meaningful and how we can make them more wholesome and meaningful. I'd also throw in here that in the book, I spoke about the holistic wealth mindset and the holistic wealth method. And so today is a great way to practice that. So think about your holistic wealth bank account and how you can enrich your holistic wealth bank account. And think about moving forward from today on Global Holistic Wealth Day, the things that you're going to do to enrich your holistic wealth bank account, because there are other activities that can deplete us, right? And can make us feel bankrupt and lead to the mental health crisis and the financial crisis and the crisis in our relationships, because it's a ripple effect. And then it starts to affect every aspect of our lives. And that's why this message of holistic wealth is so important because we can't have wealth in only one aspect of our lives and be truly wealthy in terms of a holistic lens. So think about that holistic wealth bank account and how you're going to enrich it and the activities that are like compound interest in that bank account. Some activities grow and compound over time, just like interest. So learning a new skill, investing in those relationships, taking care of your health. That's like compound interest, your mental health, because over time, the little habits that you form and the little actions that you do compound to major results. And you'll see it over time. And that's why it's so critical that we set aside this day to celebrate Global Holistic Wealth Day. And so if you want to take it a step further, Check out the Institute on Holistic Wealth website. Their courses, the Certified Holistic Wealth Consultant course is the flagship course. And many people came forward and asked for a certification program that would allow them to go into their communities, to help other people, to pay it forward, because we have to take this on a community level. We have to take this on a household level to make sure each household, each community is doing well. And so That's why we created that certification program and do check it out online. It's available, uh, flexible, it's available online. And of course, if you feel there are other aspects that you need to zero in on, if you do feel there are other courses there, like the certified trauma of money course that helps you to deal with any unresolved money trauma, that's a key part of financial well-being and also the holistic healing certification that's there. So do check those out. And I'm hoping that if you're a part of an organization that you will get involved. There's a page on the Institute on Holistic Wealth website where you can get involved in Global Holistic Wealth Day. You can sign up as a partner. Email us at info at Institute on Holistic Wealth and do send us an email. You want to partner with us. We want to take this all across the globe further and deeper as far as and wide as we can. So do so. You can also reach out to me. I'm at info at KeishaBlair.com. And let me know what you did to celebrate Global Holistic Wealth Day. Let me know how you want to partner to celebrate Global Holistic Wealth Day moving forward. And if you've read the book, please do leave us a review on Amazon or wherever you purchased your book from, because reviews do help readers discover this message. It helps readers to find the book. It helps them to get the help they need 
So that's why reviews are important. If you've been a listener to this podcast, please leave us a review on Apple Podcast and on Global Holistic Wealth Day. I'm also imploring everyone listening into this podcast today to share it with at least three people. Share it with at least three people to celebrate Global Holistic Wealth Day today. And I hope I see you on social media talking about how you celebrated with the hashtag Global Holistic Wealth Day. And if you are a part of a mental health advocacy group or a financial health advocacy group, do spread this message. Please add this as a resource on your website so that other people can find it. I think the little things that we do, everyone can impact our lives, can impact the lives of others who need it. There's so many people in crisis today. There's so many people needing to hear this message. And spiritual renewal is a critical part of holistic wealth. So when we talk about spiritual self-renewal as well, which is another activity that we can do to celebrate Global Holistic Wealth Day, it's a critical, critical part of it. Renewing ourselves on a daily basis, whether it's through prayer, meditation, mindfulness is critical, right? Because we're in a world where I feel like many people feel hope slipping but when we do practice spiritual self-renewal, you can check out that chapter in the book too. And I spoke about the four laws of spiritual self-renewal. Gratitude that we mentioned was one. Renewing our hope and motivation though is another critical law. Because I think with the crises that we're facing globally, it's easy to become hopeless. It's easy to turn on the television and see the wars, see everything happening and think, where are we heading? Where is humanity heading? Is this the end of it? But renewing that hope and motivation every single day is so important. And there will be roadblocks. There will be barriers. There will be things that pop up every single day. And this is why we need to renew our hope and motivation every single day in order to deal with these mini fires that need to be put out around us. I've been on this journey since 2017, and I hope you continue to join me. I hope you continue to lift me up. I hope you continue to pray for me with this work that I'm doing. I've had roadblocks that I've had plagiarism. I've had other authors copy my work and not give me credit for it. But I'm hoping that this message will transcend all of that and the work will transcend all of that. And together we can do this. We can do this for humanity. We can do this to help our communities, to help the next generation, to help our children. And so I'm in celebration of Global Holistic Wealth Day. I just want to tell you that the first edition of the book is on sale now on Amazon for $3.99. It's been marked down in every single region on Amazon. So you can grab the ebook version of the first edition of Holistic Wealth today. And it's marked down for Global Holistic Wealth Day and for the entire week. And it's for $3.99. So you can get that. It's there available right now if you go online and do spread the message about the markdown so that everyone can benefit from this message. But it's in all regions, Canada, United States, the UK. It's in all regions on markdown. Hoping that you have a great rest of the Easter weekend. Everyone celebrating and please share this message. Lots of love to you and your families. I hope you have a holistically wealthy rest of the week. And do please celebrate Global Holistic Wealth Day today. And always, lots of love to you again. This is Keisha Blair, and I hope you enjoyed this episode. The Holistic Wealth Podcast with Keisha Blair is brought to you by... Have you joined the Institute on Holistic Wealth? If you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Choose your membership plan at the Institute on Holistic Wealth slash memberships to join. As a member, you'll get access to free worksheets, advice, coaching, and an intentional design workshop. As you start to live a more holistically wealthy lifestyle, you'll want to stay for a very long time. So go to Institute on Holistic Wealth slash memberships to join. If you haven't read the book yet, pick up a copy of the award-winning best-selling Holistic Wealth 36 Life Lessons to help you recover from disruption, find your life purpose, and achieve financial freedom.